First off, you're going to take your gyro cables, slide them through the handlebars, and then screw them into the gyro plate behind it. And you can spin your handlebars around, take your gyro cable, sliding it through the hole, and spinning the barrel adjuster into the plate. And after screwing in both of your barrel adjusters, you can then take your plate, slide the cable ends into each side of the plate. And while holding the brake closed, loosen your pad, readjust your pad to the right position, centered on the side of the rim, and tighten it back up. Then repeating on the other side, grab the brake, loosen the pad, readjust, centered on the rim, tighten it back up. We're gonna adjust the spring tension on the brake on the other side of the brake here. Slide the bike up. And taking your open end wrench and the flats, your hex wrench, loosening the bolt. You can then adjust the spring tension as needed to get even spring tension on those sides. Snug the bolt back up. Now we're gonna adjust these four barrel adjusters so as to get the tensions balanced on this to stop any gyro flop that happens as the bars are turned. Now you can use your fine tune by adjusting these barrel adjusters, spinning the wheel back and forth, lessening the gyro flop. Once you find a location that works for you, you can then spin down the lock nuts on each barrel adjuster. You also have two barrel adjusters up here that you can use to increase the tension of your brakes. And now you have the ability to spin your bars all the way around without any cable thing. On this bike, we do have a lower gyro cable that goes down into a single cable that then runs into a straddle cable. You can use this barrel adjuster for adjusting tension and this cable down here for unhooking and releasing the brakes. You're gonna push the pads together, take the end of the cable, unhook it from the brake, and release.